Good morning all, happy Saturday. It is early in the morning, like shortly after eight, and Richard's mother is going to be picking me up in a couple of minutes to have a girl's day. By the way, check out this kitchen floor that my hubby finished last night. Or mostly finished. I don't think he's done this part, and I think he plans to. We're on our way, but look what Richard's mother got me. A cute little apron and a pastry mat for rolling out. She's so sweet. Good morning, you guys. I'm up early today, just like Steph. I'm on my way to have breakfast with my father. I had the truck because I got a call right before I left the house from a man who I contacted on Craigslist a few days ago who has bricks he's given away for free. So I'm gonna go pick those up after breakfast. What's going on? Trying to keep up with the yard work. Time to make some bread. So we're just socializing for a few minutes before we get ready to make our breads because uh, Mary, the woman who is in charge, her daughter is her assistant and she ran into some trouble this morning. So we're just waiting for things to get started. Okay, Dad and I have come to Patty's Pantry right here. Boom. Parking lot's packed. Just leaving the pantry now. Man, was that a good breakfast. How'd you like that breakfast? Only one word. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> but he said it twice. Must have been double awesome. Are you excited to make bread? I am. <laughs> Your beaker's ready. You're going to start, right? That's the beaker. One time I was learning how to cook and learning about yeast. And instead of a teaspoon of yeast, one well, I put in a tablespoon of yeast, it was bad. It might make a little difference. Our bread has been kneaded and now it is resting along with the other breads covered and rising. I'm gonna get a scone in the meantime. That was really nice today with my dad. I'm on my way to Fairport now to pick up those bricks. windy now. I think I have everything, including this stone here. We're going full load. It's very interesting to see the different doughs because they were different, mm -hmm. different moistures. So uh, that can depend on a lot of things. So, you know, this is the same thing where is she, that your grandmother might have said, you have to go by feel in life, right? Mm -hmm. And so as you're kneading dough, you could feel it, right? You could feel the texture change. Mm -hmm. And I love that analogy for when life is rough and you just keep working it gently, it texturally it starts to change. And then I'm going to start on my long side and I'm going to roll it this way. 
So see how it's thin? Can you mm -hmm. see? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I know at the edge, some people leave an edge. I don't like to. I really like mine filled. So now I have this. And then okay. I prevent it from like popping open. Ready? <laughs> So I have my seam. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put it on its side so the seam is on the side. And I'm going to now roll Ooh. it this way. Ah, okay. And then I want to really just make sure that that's done. Okay. And then if you're baking like we do on Cousin's Day or with kids, there's a defining mark to make it your own. <laughs> <laughs> Which you can do if you don't. But if you go back and look at the picture of my grandson, it's got one little piece of pepperoni mm -hmm. tucked in there. Yeah. It's folded just so, mm -hmm. or you might put a little olive to say, this one, this is mine. Sometimes they go missing and then you don't have it. We've had issues. <laughs> but, uh, I know. Oh, I like my Where is mine? Uh -huh. <laughs>
<laughs> Where'd you get those? Are those mine? No, I got them from my sister's closet. Oh, all right. Of clothes she no longer wears. When you raided it. Making the most of daytime in the yard right now. I'm actually gonna chop down, chop. I'm just gonna get rid of, without derooting, this one, this one, and then that one other little pine tree bush here. But I'm leaving this tree, and then this other bigger tree bush. And we're also gonna leave this for now. Um, but yeah, these three are gonna go. And I got the ax, haha, <laughs> the ax. I'm so beat up from doing the kitchen floor. <laughs> you laugh, but it's not funny. I know. My whole groin, all my my knees are shot for the next <laughs> at least two days. But my whole all around my groin. Well, I guess I was just unloading the bricks. <sighs> I like this gardening. So you know what I was thinking? In a past life, I must have loved gardening. No, because I'm doing it now and it's fun. Like I don't mind it, but it's not my like I don't seek out doing it. I just want to make the backyard look nice. Uh-huh. So what does that have to do with anything? i just telling you my heart and soul. Do you have anything you want to tell them? <laughs> you would take you to my mother in law Sue for taking me and uh, going to the baking class. That was super fun. And they were really nice and friendly. And I'll put a link in the description for that, if you want more information, a big thank you to Mary from Needing Life. And it was fun. And I enjoyed it, even if I had to wake up early. And we're going to taste test some of it later on tonight. Fist bump that like button, you guys. And thanks for watching. That's it. We're out of here. Hasta luego. Bye. I've actually decided to cut a new piece for this corner right here with a different measurement. And... I don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to give it a shot. It's going to make it much more precise and um, pleasing to the eye for this corner.